Art on Demand is a production of the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, brought to you with support from Alice Beach, 30A.com, and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. While these events are provided at no cost to you, we do ask that you donate what you can by visiting our website, culturalartsalliance.com, in order to help the CAA continue to foster creativity, employ artists, and bring you entertainment, education, and engagement through Art on Demand. We hope you love this virtual event. Hi, and welcome to the Blue Giraffe, our happy, colorful art gallery here in Inlet Beach that my daughter and I own together. I am Debbie Taylor, and I am proud to introduce the driving force behind the Blue Giraffe, my daughter, Christy Sheffield. She is the face of the Blue Giraffe, and she is what has made the gallery what it is with her creativity and her hard work and her huge heart. So with that, I'm going to let my boss take over and tell you all about the Blue Giraffe. <laughs> the Blue Giraffe offers art and gifts with heart. We represent local and regional artists with a wide range of styles and prices. We have a little book nook inspired by my mom and her passion for reading. We also have stationery and note cards, um, art supplies, what handcrafted, jewelry, handcrafted jewelry, wind pottery. chimes, pottery, all sorts of really unique, great gift ideas. When you come to the Blue Giraffe, make sure to get your picture taken with our mascot, Jeannie. She's our fun, colorful blue giraffe that sits outside the shop every day, and we named her after my grandma, Jeannie. We want to thank the Cultural Arts Alliance for allowing us this opportunity to be a part of Art on Demand. It's a wonderful initiative that helps keep our community uh, connected and creative in a virtual way during the pandemic. The Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County brings many of these uh, outstanding events to our area, and we are fortunate especially to have the 30A Songwriters Festival. It's my favorite event here on 30A and has been for many years. It is a multi-day um, musical feast, and it's remarkable what CAA has done with, with this event. Uh, not only do we get to enjoy um, just uh, celebrities, singers, songwriters that are renowned, we also um, discover new talent every single year. And it's a time when we uh, make new friendships and renew old friendships through our, our passion for music. We are very fortunate to have so many outstanding artists and cultural events here in Walton County. Um, I do believe that Art and culture is essential to our well-being as individuals and uh, as well as to our community. I also believe that art and music has the power to heal. It allows us a chance to express ourselves in ways that uh, words just simply uh, can't do. Our journey began in 2010 when Michelle Myers, who founded the Blue Giraffe, uh, reached out and asked if Mom and I would be interested in buying her art gallery. It had been one of our favorite places to shop when we vacationed on 30A. And so I think she knew that we would carry on the same heart and soul of what she and her daughter Mackie had created. Mom and I had been dreaming and brainstorming business ideas to start together. And so when Michelle called and said that I had been on her heart and she had been praying about us, I knew that this was God's plan for our next step and we just celebrated our 10-year anniversary this November. When you come into the Blue Giraffe, our goal is for you to feel happy and uplifted and hopefully inspired and to feel the good energy that we are always trying to put out there. I pack a lot of items and art into a small amount of space but I try to do it in a way that it flows and you just want to hang out and take it all in. We represent so many artists here and I'd love to introduce you to a few of them. Jan Clark is a longtime local who you all might know from back in the day in Grayton. Um, 
She was one of the people who helped create the Grayton Beach Fine Arts Festival, which we all now know as ArtsQuest, one of my favorite CAA events of the year. She paints these exquisite little Western Lake paintings, as well as one of our probably best-selling gift items, which are little beachy canvases with uplifting uh, friendship quotes. And Polly Youngbeck is another one of our local artists. A lot of you may know her as the henna tattoo lady around town. She is also an incredible fine artist who uh, paints in mostly acrylic with palette knife. Uh, she draws as well. She teaches classes for us, which we hope to be offering again soon. These are some of her really fun little sandpipers that she's well known for and a great beach scene. She also paints this happy bunch of flowers with the little parrot. Very happy, good energy. You'll all love Polly. Eddie Powell is another one of our popular artists. He used to have Eddie and Sally's gallery in Grayton Beach, but since he moved back to the Birmingham area many years ago, he has um, let us represent his artwork here on 30A. Eddie is most well known for his heavy textured acrylic paintings of Western Lake, beautiful bicycles, little bluebirds, and angels. He's literally been like one of my top three sellers for ten, almost 10 years. Holly Rhodes is one of our artists out of the Nashville, Tennessee area. You might know her almost famous ice cream cones that people like to use for growth charts for their kids and their grandkids. She is a mixed media artist, mostly using acrylic paints and scraps of paper and glitter and uh, 30A stickers and all sorts of fun things like that. Her artwork is always really colorful and uh, really happy and has a great sense of humor. Every time Holly brings me artwork, she says, I'm so sorry about the funny hair you might have to take off. <laughs> and she would not mind if you used that. <laughs> Chris Alvarado is our most recent addition to the gallery. Most of you in Walton County know him for his music and for his handcrafted beautiful guitars. He recently started making these stunning trays out of exotic woods. They are perfect for a cheese and charcuterie board or just a simple decoration on an ottoman. We're really proud to be representing Chris and these new trays. They've already become a huge hit because they make such a great gift item. This is just a small selection of the many artists that we represent here at the Blue Giraffe. I would love for you to come and let me introduce you to all of them. Here at the Blue Giraffe, it's not just about the artwork on the wall, it's about our relationship with the artists. I'm proud to say that many of our artists have been with us for over 10 years. We call many of them close friends as well. We do everything here on a hug and a handshake, and the relationship that we have with our artists is what helps create that connection and that good vibe that you feel when you're here. If you are someone who loves artwork but aren't really sure where to start, we offer art consulting services. I love going into a client's home, helping them determine what art they need and where they might need it. It's a really fun process that helps us connect with the client and help them really turn their house into a home. If you are interested in learning more about our consulting services, you can give us a call at 850-231-5112. You can also find us online at bluegiraffe30a.com, which is also where you can shop online with us if you're not able to visit us in person. We would love for you to get social with us. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Blue Giraffe 38. It's such a blessing to be able to provide a place where creativity can bloom and where people can experience the joy that art can bring. Thank you so much to our community 
to our customers, to our friends and family. We're so grateful to you for supporting the arts and we look forward to meeting you. Thank you for experiencing this episode of Art on Demand, presented by the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, with support from Alice Beach, 30A.com, and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. We hope you explored your creativity and learned something new today. As the creative core of Walton County, the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County offers support, connection, and access opportunities for all forms of art, every variety of maker, all levels of learners, and especially art lovers. Through performance, funding, and educational programs, the 501c3 organization directly connects the people of Walton County with the broader view, the critical exploration, and the answers only the arts have the power to provide. If you loved this episode, please visit culturalartsalliance.com and click the donate button to give what you can to help the CAA continue to bring you art on demand. And stay tuned for our next virtual event coming soon.